Hi, it's Faceless Tech. I've done it again. I've remade an old project. This time it's called Random Remote. <clears throat> Basically what I've remade is my first ever project. I have a uh, printed circuit board from Osh Park in it. This one's called uh, One Button Remote uh, 2014. Basically it was from my daughter. She didn't know how to use a Sky Remote, which is only a couple of years old. So, you know, I thought uh, she wants to put the kids' shows on. She can just press this, uh, turn it on, press the button, um, and it'll cycle through a list of kids' shows. Put one on, uh, and that's it, you know. Lovely, nice and easy. Uh, I didn't think I was getting much good range out of it because I thought I was using 3 volts for the uh, AT Tiny 85. Um, but it turns out you, um, you need a transistor to boost the signal, which I added in this one, which gives me great range. So basically, onto this one. This is nice and simple. One big, massive button. I went with an arcade button because it kills two birds with one stone. It's a nice big button, and it's got an LED in it, so for like the status for when you know that you've pressed the button or... Uh, whatever else, it's all built in there. That's why the enclosure's so big, because the I had to get the height of this stupid button. I don't know why they didn't make smaller arcade buttons, but it's quite handy because it does clip off, so I think it is contained in the base. I uh, went with an uh, Arduino Leonardo uh, for two reasons. One being the um, USB interface on it, uh, micro USB. You know, no one really uses mini USB anymore, so. Uh, and for, because they a uh, hid device, human interface device, so it can emulate a mouse or keyboard, which is great. Um, but uh, the, f f uh, first and foremost, it's a remote, a uh, random remote. The name we got random remote because I wanted to make something a bit silly uh, for the Hackaday Prize, you know, something a bit daft. So I thought I'd make it so that you press the button and it randomly puts a TV show on. I've always wanted that. Uh, I thought, why is the button, why did not these services like Netflix and stuff just have like a random and then put something on, you know, button. Uh, so far, I'd make one. Uh, so basically, what it does is hit the button, picks random numbers, uh, sends them out in the IOL LED, and that's it. Pretty simple, really. Uh, another nice printed circuit board. I'll add these nice rounded edges to it. Uh, it's got the Leonardo. It's got a bit of a uh, not really much on the board to be honest. There's a charging circuit. There's LEDs uh, that have wired off there. Button switch. Uh, transistor, I went with the uh, 2N22222, <laughs> um, which is quite a common one. Um, uh, diode as well, just uh, so it wouldn't know where. Uh, fly back on the circuit. Um, charging circuit. Uh, so basically, turn it on, press the remote, and it'll light up. What I've done is programmed it into this. Um, it's got like the top channels, like ITV, BBC, all them, because I can never be asked to remember the codes from uh, the, you know, the triple digit numbers from. So I kind of made it for myself a bit lazy. Um, also, had a bit of an epiphany that I thought wouldn't it be great if you could, like, hold down the button and it would change modes. So I found some code online. So if you press it once, the light lights up, and you can see. Uh, but if you hold down the button, it'll flash twice, and then it goes into a different mode, and that's like a random uh, TV mode that one. Uh, but you can have it in single mode, you can have the single mode code, uh, dual mode code, I've got it all down in the description on my blog. Um, also with it being a human interface device, I made it, it's going to make it into like a make button, you know, if you do like command line, um, Arduino, and you just hit like make up load, and you just hit the button, mash the button, or obviously if you've got like some other, you know, other scripts you have to run, like you know, load of commands you have to put in, you can just hit that. Uh, but also with the head, um, it's been plugged into a computer for a long period of time, I didn't want to charge the battery constantly because you know it'll die so it's got this mode where if it's off and you plug it into a computer it won't charge the battery but if it's on it will charge the battery so um i could add it i could have really added a status led for the charging circuit but you know, it's got a massive battery this is a 12 uh, 1200 milliamp hour battery which i'm going to swap for a smaller one and glue in at a later date i'm just waiting for that to come in the post um but yeah so if you so it does look really good when it's lit up. The button. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, uh, join me in the uh, living room and I'll give you a quick demo of it on the TV. Hi, now we're in the living room. I can give you a quick demo. First, I'll show you it. Um, here it is. On the TV, uh, on the skybox. You can see the red light flashing three times. Just then um, channels. And I'll show you it switching the channels over. See, um, I'll show you now on the screen. Just turn it on. 
pointed at the box. BBC One, BBC Two, BBC, uh, ITV, Channel Four, and Channel Five, and then it'll loop back round. Uh, and then if you hold it down, so it does the double. There we go, and now it just puts a random channel on, which I uh, know oh channel is available. This is when you find some really bizarre, uh, mostly religious channels. Um, hopefully, none of these will be uh, not safe for work, but can I guarantee? I thought that's BBC Two, but it literally just picks uh, any random ones, puts them on. So, uh, Thanks for watching. As usual, all the uh, description, all the links are in the description for the blog, uh, GitHub, uh, all that kind of good stuff. So uh, thanks for watching and bye.